Uh, I'm a Calgarian born and raised and completed my Bachelor of Commerce degree at the University of Calgary. And after I finished my degree, I decided I wanted to go do my Chartered Accounting designation. So I accepted a role with Deloitte & Touche, which is a public uh, accounting firm, doing articling work there. So I spent five years at Deloitte, with the majority of my clients being real estate and oil and gas. And Boardwalk was actually one of my clients when I was at Deloitte. And after I left Deloitte, I went to the Calgary Flames for a couple years. And while I really enjoyed my time there, it was a private organization, and I felt my skills set was a better match for a public company. So fortunately, after leaving Deloitte, I'd kept in touch with Rob Jeremiah, and when an opportunity arose at Boardwalk, I came over here and have been here ever since. Personally, the most important trait for a successful leader is integrity. Uh, at the end of the day, people look up to leaders as role models. If people and leaders are honest, then it's more likely to encourage team members and others to be honest. Not all people are the same, and leaders need to recognize that different individuals have different needs. For me, the easiest comparison is to look at teachers. Uh, teachers are experts in their subject matter, but in addition to that, they have to learn different strategies to teach kids in different ways so that all students have the opportunity to learn. I think the biggest challenge that women face in leadership roles is that they tend not to be as confident in themselves. Women need to be confident in their abilities and their thoughts and make sure to vocalize how they're feeling and what they believe. I think by their nature, women are more soft-spoken, which can come across as lacking confidence even though they have it. My proudest moment would have been getting my CA designation, but since then, um, there's probably not a real single moment that stands out, but I really look back on how fortunate I have been in my career. I've always been fortunate enough to be able to be challenged and to continue growing. All of my employers have been very open-minded to learning and making sure that you keep growing as a professional and individually. Uh, the icing on the cake for me is that I've been able to balance all of that with a really great family, with my husband and our three kids. Uh, the biggest advice I'd give my 18-year-old self would be always to, be, to stay true to yourself. The path won't be straight, the road's going to have bends, and you're going to go uphill. But as you work your way through those difficult times, remember to stay true to who you are and what you want and where you want to be. Um, no one is going to put you first except for yourself. So there's, it's important to, even though it seems selfish, to take care of yourself and make sure that you're looking after yourself because at the end of the day, all you have is your own life and your own well-being.